just to uh, be down to the bottom of the mountain safe and sound with some big drops. Randy Barkred out of Sweden. Another, Another legend of our sport yes. in the start gate. And then we see Drew Tabke sitting in the hot seat. And he's well seated. He has a warm seat already with a 95. I would even say some of the all-time scores that we've seen on tour yet. But someone who has something against that is Mr. Reini Barkeret. Yes, if any man on tour today can step it up and knock Drew Tabke off the top spot, Reini Barkeret is, uh, is the man to do it. Going into the really steep part. Actually, one of the first riders we see going into Smoothies, real Smoothies Garden. That's where he pulled off with his amazing run in two years ago. Flashing that part. Of course, now we have quite some more snow coverage on that segment, but still super gnarly to get into. Now, more playful terrain. Sending it straight where others went sideways and another feature there Super one solid. of the smartest riders I know also to find the perfect transitions of course his legs and his technique made him uh, His or he earned his uh, his uh, reputation as a mayor of stomp time because of his legs and technique but also he uh, kind of uh, said one day to me it's all about finding the right transitions. Ah, and then exactly it's the it. impact is not as hard anymore. So he makes it look like as if it's just a two meter cliff and he drops a 10 meter. <laughs> and a very smart competitor. He's basically been in the top five of the Freeride World Tour standing since his rookie year in 2009, except for last year when he finished sixth. So he's gonna be charging hard and looking to move back into the top five and throwing down a very solid run for the first competition of the season on the Swatch Freeride World Tour 2017. So here we saw a pretty complete run. That top segment, of course, stood out with really difficult terrain and perfectly executed. That's why you see him in rank number two, just in between.